Well, good morning, Open Door. It's Caleb Lynch here with you, lead pastor here at Open Door Fellowship. Hey man, it is so good to be with you. I'm sorry I can't be with you in person this week. I'm on vacation with my family, but um, and I hope you enjoyed worship, and I know we've got a great sermon in front of us. But um, hey, I want to share a couple of things that are going on. The first one is that VBS registration closes tomorrow. So parents, if you want your kids to be a part of this year's VBS, you got to get signed up and you got to do it now. Um, so go onto our website, all the details are there. But just a reminder, tomorrow it closes. Today is open home communities. And so if you're a part of an open home, make sure you go and find your group or check in on an email from your open home host. Um, but if you're not a part of one of our groups, you can sign up today and we'd love to get you into one of those. Um, we're excited about what God's doing through these open home communities. Okay, another uh, just kind of a need that I'm coming to you with. Um, we do a food bank twice a month. And some of you know about this, some of you have been a part of it. We kind of have two needs right now. Uh, one need is that we need volunteers to show up on a Saturday morning for a couple of hours and help serve food to our community. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure you go touch base with Sarah out at our connect table, but also you can call into the office and that would be a huge blessing. Uh, the other thing is that we do need some um, non-perishable food items donated. Well, our pantry is running low. We're getting a ton more families coming right now. I think times have been tough just across our entire nation. And so one of the neat ways we get to be the hands and feet of Jesus is that we get to bless those in our community through our donation of food. So if you have some, if you have non-perishable food items, you just bring them on a Sunday morning and there's a couple of bins that sit out in our courtyard that say food bank on them and you can just drop them right in there and we will use them to stock our shelves. So really appreciate you guys in that way uh, and it's just a sweet blessing that we get to be a part of. Hey, last thing, happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day. I hope you get to spend time with your family and celebrate this great country that we live in. And I wish I could be here with you guys today, but I can't, so I just wish you all the best. Hey, and thank you, Stuart Black, for this message. Um, we are excited to hear what you have for us this morning. Love you guys, we'll see you soon, peace. <laughs>